A lawsuit against TCU is taking a deeper look inside the school's top-ranked football program. Our Jason Allen found out today while the suit focuses on one player, it could have a much bigger impact. Once one of the fastest men on the football field, Colby Lissenby's run toward a pro football career slowed after a pelvic injury in 2015. His lawsuit to recover potential lost NFL paychecks focuses on his treatment by TCU coaches and doctors. But obviously it has probably bigger ramifications. For the sport as a whole? Yes. Attorney Derek Potts told us the lawsuit is focused on Lissenby's treatment. It claims coaches pressured and threatened him to play, while doctors' injections were deteriorating Colby's cartilage and muscles. A school search such as TCU or any football program has a duty to protect its students from further injury, and that's what the, that's what the lawsuit's about. It's about just Lissenby's treatment right now, but his attorneys are also continuing to look at the overall environment inside the TCU football program. The investigation's ongoing um, into potentially um, other incidents, and I'm sure as discovery proceeds in the case, if, if, if those exist, they'll come to light. Listen, B is still on the reserve list for the Indianapolis Colts, but his attorney told me today that a steel plate a specialist put in after he left TCU has really limited his movement. Now, TCU has filed his own lawsuit against Listen, B because of these claims, but attorneys for the school were not available today for comment. Live tonight in Fort Worth, Jason Allen, CBS 11 News.